further away from the NBA, right? Yes, sir. Sounds good. It's not really realistic, but it sounds good, right? Seems like we were just here a month ago, right, in the playoffs. I mean, it was several months ago, but it seems like it was yesterday. Um, I think we talk internally a lot about how special this group is, and I think we really felt it at the end of last year. Um, you know, battling against Phoenix in the playoffs and losing game six here and going in the locker room and seeing the pain and These guys were hurting after that, after that last game. I think they really believed um, that they could beat the Suns, that we could beat the Suns in that series. And you could see uh, how much it hurt um, and how much they were together. Um, and uh, you know, internally in the front office and our coaching staff, we said we want to keep the momentum, the positive momentum going into the summer, which meant I think we all, when we say momentum, we want positive positivity and, and getting better. Um, and then when you're out and in the community in New Orleans, you see a lot more Pelicans hats on, you see a lot more shirts on, a lot more people coming up to you and, and really excited about the next season. So um, I think that's really, really exciting for us going into the season. But I think more than anything has kind of been our players' response uh, to the end of last season. They uh, took a couple weeks off, but man, our guys have been in the gym all summer. Um, they've been in the community. They've been talking about getting back and, and seeing how good we can really be going into this season. Um, and I think that's exciting for all of us, that those are the guys that have been pushing, pushing it. They've been pushing themselves. They've been in the gym. They've been leaning on our PD coaches. They've been leaning on our strength and conditioning coaches. How can I get better? What are my weaknesses? How can I turn those into strengths? Um, it's been fun to watch. It's been fun to be a part of. It's been fun to have conversations with these guys because they truly want to get better. And they're truly about being better as a team and pushing each other. And, and as we've gotten close to camp, um, they've been taken to another level. Uh, in terms of just competition, pushing each other, um, talking to each other on the court. So this, uh, this training camp is going to be super competitive because um, our guys have gotten better. And they all want to take a step uh, individually, and they want, all want to take a step as a team. Um, you know, I think you can see from the summertime, um, Jose Alvarado playing in some games with the Puerto Rican national team and how that's really helped his game and his maturity and his confidence. Um, same thing with Jonas Valanciunas over with the Lithuanian national team playing in FIBA qualifiers and playing in the Euro basket and leading his team. And then obviously, Willie Hernan Gomez, what he did with the Spanish national team, um, leading his team to a Euro basket um, gold and championship and, and being the MVP, which amazing accomplishment for him and probably the biggest accomplishment of any NBA player um, over the summer, um, winning that Euro basket and, you know, Doncic. Giannis and, uh, and Jokic were all in the same competition. He's the one that's named Eurobasket MVP. So that's thrilling for us and exciting for us. And um, you know, we just believe this is going to be a, a really exciting training camp. And, and we're excited for it because these guys are, have been pushing themselves all summer. And they've been in the gym all summer. So um, we're excited. We're looking forward to, to the special group coming together and getting started. This uh, roster looks very similar to the one that ended the season in April. Why did you all feel like running it back was the right thing to do here? I think I alluded to some of that right now, but I think we, we feel we have a special group. I think it's a, it's a good mix of talented youth and experienced vets. Uh, we have a lot of depth. We can go small, we can go big, we can play fast, we can play slow. Um, and I think with the run that we had towards the end of last year, this group is committed to each other and they want to really give it a full season and see how good that they can be. Uh, and I think that was important to us. And you could, you could even feel the momentum and kind of the, uh, the camaraderie over the summer even get stronger. And you touched on this a little bit, but uh, just what's your viewpoint on just the anticipation coming into this season for you guys, just the amount of eyes that's going to be on this team coming off of what you guys did at last year and obviously adding Z to the mix? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is our guys are ready. Um, the amount of work that they put in over the summer, the amount of time that they've been here, the amount of time that they've been together, um, these guys have gotten better. Uh, and that's what's exciting for us. And I think that's what's exciting for them is they've seen each other so much and they know that they're invested as a team and they look across the gym and they look at one another and how they're getting in early. I mean, our guys are getting in the gym at 7.30, 8 a.m. to get their work in. They're not, they're not coming in at 1 in the afternoon. Like these guys, they're focused, they're determined. Um, and that's what's exciting for us. So they know the eyes are going to be on them. They can feel the fever in the city of the fans and – and people talking about them and talking about the team. And like I said, there's a lot more Pelicans gear being worn on the streets than ever before. 
I even was in a, you know, did some tournaments with my son going to Jackson, Mississippi and going to Birmingham, Alabama, and there's Pell's gear and those, those, uh, those AAU gyms. So that's fun to see, but, um, our guys know, but our guys are ready. What are, obviously there's the continuity part of it, but what are some other advantages of basically bringing back the same roster plus a, a Z and a Dyson with, with and having that core together? I think the continuity is huge. I think in this league, it's hard to get continuity. Just um, when you look across the league, a lot of teams change. And, um, you know, my time with the Spurs, I think that was really important and why we were able to be successful. Uh, as you bring back the same roster, you don't have to introduce a lot of new things. Willing and staff isn't going to have to introduce new people to new terminology. You can just you can start running from, from day one and really work on um, some things that are going to help you at the start of the season. Um, you don't get a whole lot of time. I mean, we get about five, six practices and we're into our first game and three weeks and we're, I mean, first preseason game and three weeks and we're into our first game. So we're going to hit the ground running and our guys are excited about that. And our time with Dyson was, was short uh, this, yeah. this summer. What have uh, you kind of seen from him uh, since then? Are you going to see a different Dyson than you saw in one game? I'll tell you that. Um, we saw a different Dyson um, when he came back. Uh, probably mid-August, he didn't mess around. Uh, he was frustrated at the fact that he couldn't play in the summer league. And I think just the lead up um, with the pre-draft process, going through the draft and going into summer league, he was fatigued. And I'm not saying that that was the reason why he got hurt, but uh, he got his legs under him. Um, he's going to be really good. Uh, he just needs to get on the court and play and get that experience. But he's not a guy you don't have to run plays for him. He's going to figure it out. You can throw him on the court with anybody. Uh, and he's a worker. Uh, he's a competitor. He's going to push practice. Um, he's going to get better, but he's going to make everybody around him better as well. You sort of touched on this, um, but this is the first time in your tenure here that you're also having continuity with the coaching staff. How important is that from a growth standpoint? Um, well, we have a good one, right? We have a really good one in Willie Green. And um, I think he's had a whole summer to work with the staff and have the staff together, right? because of his run last year with the Phoenix Suns to the final and the compressed summer, he didn't have much of a time to get his feet here on ground and really even get ready for camp, uh, let alone have the fast camp um, that we had last year. Um, so that continuity is going to be incredibly important for, for our guys and for our team. Like I said, we can hit the ground running um, tomorrow in camp instead of implementing a lot, new, a lot of new terminology and plays like we had to do last year. So everybody's going to be familiar with him and staff. and. And then we can go. Um, we can go right away. Trajan, can you talk about this team's chemistry and how's it compared to like teams you've been around before or played on before? <clears throat> they really enjoy being around each other. Um, I think they know what to expect from each other every day. They're going to compete for roles on this team. They're going to compete for minutes, um, for responsibility. Um, and that's why I say this next week is going to be really, really fun uh, through the first five preseason games and to see who Willie's going to roll out as a starting five and who's going to be in that rotation. But it's going to be competitive throughout. I mean, the team that, the team that, was, that we played, the team that played against Phoenix at the end, it's a completely different team that played um, in the first week of, of the regular season last year. So, um, you know, it's, it's ever molding, it's ever changing, but like I said, it's going to be competitive and our guys are going to stay ready because they know if somebody goes down or something happens, Willie's going to give that next guy up a chance. He did that last year. He's going to continue to do that. That's what he preaches from day to day. So these guys are going to stay ready, but they're also going to have each other's back. Um, so when you talk about chemistry, when you talk about guys that are together, I think it's important for guys that aren't playing to know that they're also going to get a chance and have those guys in front of them's backs. And, and, uh, and that's what we have with this group. Trajan, you're in, uh, you're in uh, David's evaluation. What do you take from the rookie league? Uh, because I know, you, as you said, you do have a short week. The rookie camp that you guys did in Vegas, what did you guys take away from that? <laughs> no, I know uh, all of our guys got hurt in summer league, so <laughs> that, was, that was frustrating. Um, you know, obviously Dyson went down, EJ goes down, and Carlo has a cut on his finger. So the guys that we brought in got hurt. So that's what we had to actually evaluate is how do we make sure that this doesn't happen going forward. So, um, but look, our, our group in the summertime was great too. Um, I think we had a lot of camaraderie with that group, a lot of camaraderie within our staff. 
Uh, again, it just creates another opportunity for our guys to grow closer, keep working, understand what's important. Uh, and it's just another stepping stone coming into another, uh, a very important season this year. You guys got the CJ extension done uh, before the start of camp. Um, I think, you know, we saw last year what he's able to do on the court. How valuable is the intangible stuff that, that we in the media don't get to see all the time for you guys? Uh, incredibly important. Um, I'm going to talk about a mix of young guys and, and vets. Obviously, he's the vet um, that's really um, continuing to message the things that are important from, from our coaching staff, from our performance staff. Um, he seems to always message something at the end, a follow-up to something a if we get if our staff gets in front of the team and says something that's important, whether it's about sleep recovery or nutrition, he's always messaging the importance of that as well from his side and his experience, which I think is incredibly important when it comes from a guy who has seen it and done it at his level for a long time. It's it's uh, it's very impactful to our young guys, even more so than staff members. So uh, it's, it was very important for us to get that done. We're excited he's going to be here for four years going forward, and I think he is too. And just how excited are you guys about just having Zion healthy going into camp and seeing what he can add to this group once he gets on the floor? Yeah, I think to piggyback off Christian said on the, an extension from um, CJ, we, we, we extended him this summer. So to have two guys going forward that wanted to be here uh, is incredibly powerful and incredibly exciting for us um, going forward. But we're, uh, to add him to the mix is going to be fun, right? Uh, we finished on a strong note, and, and he's ready. Uh, he's been in the gym. He's been working. You'll see him later today. He looks great, uh, and he's excited to get back with this group and see where he can go. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the coaching staff is going to do with him, right, how they're going to implement him in this group. Um, we're going to have a lot of offensive firepower, uh, but I think the biggest thing for us is to make sure that we're focusing on that other end of the floor. Um, to win big in this league, you got to be able to guard. So we're going to have a lot of guys who can score the ball, but we got to come together and really be able to guard. And I think uh, – we have, a, like I said, we got a good group, and we're going to play unselfish. They got each other's backs. So they're going to share the ball, but let's make sure we got each other's back at the under end of the floor uh, and really guard people night in and night out. Trey, you've uh, obviously had David Griffin over these in previous years. Can you talk about just the shared successes and responsibilities and how that builds the culture from the front office all the way down? Can you expand expound on that a little bit? I'm a little bit confused. Griff has opened these before in previous seasons. Now you're taking that responsibility as more of a thing. It just seems like it's more shared responsibility, but also it's a shared success story for the organization. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm opening it. I think he's still going to open. I'm just <laughs> – he's still going to do his remarks. Mine were pretty quick. Um, but, yeah, I, th I, I think that's an important thing that Griff has really communicated and Willie does a good job on his side with his staff is – um, collaboration and communication. That's one thing that we're trying to continue to get better with. Um, it's always challenging uh, because you want to make sure everybody is included all the time. And uh, there's a lot of moving parts in a, in a sports organization. Decisions have to be made quickly. Not everybody's on the ground in the same place at the same time. Uh, but it's really important for us to keep to make sure everybody feels like they're a part of what's going on. And um, I appreciate his... Uh, him allowing me to do this today. So this is this is fun. But uh, again, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and us getting started because I, uh, I haven't been around many groups like this before. And this is a group that feels like uh, it's going to be a fun group to be around and a successful group to be a part of. Where is uh, Kyra at in his rehab process? Is he able to do any five and five or anything like that? Kyra looks great. Um, he's not at the point yet um, that he's five on five, but he's doing some one on one on the court. Um, he looks really good, man. His speed is great. Uh, he just has to play. He's got to get his rhythm back, and that'll come soon enough. But uh, he's going to push our uh, our performance team to try to, you know, there's different, obviously, different things he's got to hit and different timelines he's got to wait on, but he looks great. Uh, we're looking forward to him getting back on. But, um, you know, time time will tell, and, and it'll come. But he's in a really, really good place uh, physically and, uh, and in a good place mentally as well. I know EJ is also dealing with, uh, you know, knee injury, obviously, coming back from that, it's going to be a while. If, apart from Kyra and EJ, um, as far as you know, could everybody you guys are bringing to training camp play tomorrow if they needed to? Is everybody healthy besides those two? I'll let, I'll, I'll let Griff allude to that. Uh, you can ask him that question, but, uh, yeah, I'll let Griff allude to that. <laughs> Trey, can King talk about the importance that it was last year for that young group of guys to actually battle the way they did through the play-in tournament, actually yeah. make the playoffs and go through that experience and how that was spurring them for future success? That's a great question. We talked about it a lot, especially 
Willie talked about it a lot as we were making that end of the season run. Um, we said, let's, we need to find a way to get in that play in so that these guys can taste it um, going into the off season and have that motivation, have that taste to know what it feels like and want to take it to the next level going into the next season. Um, so two play in games that we were able to battle and win both and then really get a flavor of that, that playoff fever, um, which was, I think, incredibly important for our guys to feel. Um, especially our young guys. Obviously, the vets like Jonas and Larry and CJ knew what that was like, but getting the young core to feel that and want to get back there and take it to the next round and kind of see where they stack up to the rest of the league, right? Say, have, that, have the rest of the league say, oh, no, these guys are here to stay. That wasn't a fluke. Um, and that's what I, it seems like that's been a, a motivating factor for our guys this summer. I was going to, I was going to kind of follow up on that. I know last year, even with the struggles, I know Willie kept saying, we want guys doing the right thing the right way and the results will come. We're not really worried. Not that we're not worried about it, but that that's maybe not the ultimate focus. Does it have to change? Is there a heightened sense of, I guess, responsibility now because they have tasted it and they have been there and there will be greater expectations in our Western Conference that's pretty deep? I wouldn't say there's a responsibility. I think the only responsibility is to come work every day and play hard and play for each other. Um, and that's what this group is going to do. I think there is an expectation from within. Uh, I think there's the highest expectation from within. I don't think anything from outside is going to impact the way that they think and the way that they, the things that they demand of each other and the compete level. You'll see um, these guys pull for one another in a, in a large way. They compete and they have an edge. So I think the internal expectation is going to be much higher than any, any external pressures that are around. Did you want to put anything on those internal pressures like top four seed, top six seed, avoiding the playing tournament? Is the team pushing and seeding themselves as one of those upper echelon teams for this, this year? Um, you'd have to talk to the guys about that, but I would think so. That's, the, that's what I feel from them when, when they're in the gym. Um, I can see them working. And um, they're really, like I said, when they're on the court, they're chirping, man. They're going back and forth at each other. They're trying to make each other better and push each other because they know it's coming. They know that we're going to play against some really good teams. And in the Western Conference, there's really not a night off, man. It's, it's going to be tough. Um, and I think in both conferences, it's gotten deeper. So, um, but those, these guys are out there, and they got a lot to prove. So um, I want, I'm not going to say anything from what they're thinking, but um, I think they want to show the rest of the league that we're here, that we're here for good. We're here to stay.